Yo, what is going on everyone? I hope that everyone's having a wonderful day. Today is Easter. Today is 4-9, I believe. Let me, let me let me actually check. Today is 4-9-2023. That's pretty fucking cool. My birthday is in less than two weeks, I think. Now, let me think. April 24th, so I guess it's technically two and a half weeks. But yeah, I just want to do a little vlog today and say happy Easter to everyone. Whoever's not having a wonderful day. This is vlog number 32. I think I don't know. I forget. I forget. I forget all the numbers, honestly. Um, let me check what vlog it is, cause I know I did 32, but I can't remember if I did another video after 32. I feel like I did, and I can't remember what it is. It's kind of like, what's going on here? I'm <sighs> to go out in nature, spread joy and love. I'm just getting my morning stretchies in. But yeah, man, I just wanted to say happy Easter, stay positive, keep doing your best. This is another fucking beautiful day for vlog, I'm about to go to my grandma's, and I'm about to chill with my homie. So, yes sir, plants are happy. The, uh, Keisha, or Tisha, sorry, excuse me, Tisha graduated from the closet. She is no longer in the closet. She's out and proud. <laughs> and they got Jimmy Jr. right here, he's just looking marvelous as usual. But yeah, uh, that's, that's cool. These plants are shooting up like fucking rockets out here, and I love it. I'm about to get sun, and I'm about to open up these windows, get some nice airflow. My green onions are going nuts too. Like they've been going fucking crazy. I had to like replant these hoes because they just they just be growing so frequently. Yeah, okay, they're still watered, so yeah, that's cool. But yeah. That's what I'm up to today, man. Big fucking chilling. I'm just chilling in this bitch. That's a good angle, I'm not gonna lie. Stay hydrated, keep doing your best. And yeah, I'll catch you guys when I'm probably at my grandma's or I'm doing something else that's more productive. I just want to keep you guys updated to what's going on in my life. This is vlog number 32. Leave a like and subscribe if you like the other vlogs to know when I'm coming through. I upload vlogs bi-weekly because that's what we doing. So we has to be so fucking lit. Be who, you're, be who you are every single fucking day of the year. Who cares what your sexuality is or who you are because you're fucking amazing. And I'm proud of you and I love you. No one told you today. We're lit as fuck. <laughs> you make yourself laugh, man. But yeah, man. I catch you on the flip side. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm in the car right now. Just ate some chicken from Pollard's. It's been lit. Shout out Pollard's. <laughs> Shout out Pollard's. <laughs> I wouldn't even go there again, honestly. It was too much. Too much, and I feel like sluggish. I feel like I want to take a fucking nap for six days. What you ask? Say the puffs? Puffs. <laughs> Puffs. Puffs are <laughs> what are those bitches called? Hush puppies? Know, nah. They, they was puffed up though. But they like little donut. Shout out your puffs. You need to up your puff game. <laughs> Fuck it. Up your puff game, Pollard. That's my review. Y'all want a Pollard chicken review? I ain't made one yet. Um, my review is the chicken was fu fucking fantastic. Your tenders are coming. Uh, <laughs> and um, everything else was flawless besides the cold collard greens. Collard greens are fire. Collard greens are good, but they gotta be cold. they gotta be warm, dog. What the fuck I no, ordered? I ain't ordered the bitches ice cold. cold. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't ordered the bitches two days old. Them niggas came out cold, bro. Like, damn. They knew my grandma was on the was was behind it. The whole thing, I give it like. A... What would you eat? I give it. I would like... just eat the chicken in the college, bro. The college was like hot and fresh, <laughs> and the, the chicken was. <laughs> Chicken was eight, easy. I can make way better chicken, so I'm not like I'm. I, I've, I've overindulged myself in chicken, so. I ain't tried a macaroni. Though. Macaroni was nine. That bitch was like. It did look kind of sus. I ain't gonna lie. That's how it always is. Kind of clunky, weird. But it was good. Puff. Puff. Zero. <laughs> It was just disgusting, bro. I had, you I ate it. You regular white bread. I ate it so fast that I realized it was bad after I ate it. And I like took three bites. I ate that bitch slow and I knew that bitch was full of grease. Well, the last bite I got was like super greasy. And I was like, that ain't good for you. Imagine you put five of them. You'd be on the ground throwing them. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't have to eat the chicken. You would eat those fucking five puffs you first. Pull off them bitches with just the amount of grease it is. It was like they put vegetable oil on before they put them in the fryer. And then they put like canola oil. I don't know, fried bread. Why would you fry bread? Well, I don't know why you wouldn't just pop a biscuit in the oven. 
I'm saying. Like, go go to minutes. churches. 15, you ever had churches? Nah. I ain't either. And I saw this is this is gonna be sound disgusting, but <clears throat> I saw it in a Wawa trash can and it looked fire. Like it was it was like in a tray and somebody ain't finished it all and it was a tender this big in it. Threw it away. Threw it away. And I was like, it had fried. It must have been ass. But yeah, if you throwing away, you gotta save that bitch for later. I mean, that I'm bitch was this big. Minutes. Yeah, and then I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, that shit look kind of fire. I wasn't going to dig in there and get it, but it did look good. Sick. It did look good. I was like, yo, why does that shit look kind of good? I'm going to try that. I never tried a lot of places. I never tried bow. I had bow one time. It was terrible, actually. Bow? Bojangles. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know what y'all did. I tried Popeye's last year. Popeye's is crazy good, but it's too damn greasy. Popeye's is disgusting. Popeye saved my life. I was super drunk one day. I got super drunk and I was so hungover I was throwing up the next day and I ate two chicken sandwiches from Popeye's and I couldn't eat anything else for the rest of the day because it's so greasy. But it saved my life. So I'm always forever grateful to Popeye's. I don't like the mashed potatoes and gravy. Any, all their sides except their Cajun rice is disgusting. And they took chicken, it away. Chicken about five out of ten. Their chicken is at least this is fire. six out of ten. But This is fire. You know this would be dry but this would be hitting. <laughs> they fucking soak up all the grease. I'm trying to think of what's the best place I've ever eaten. It used to be L&L, and L&L is kind of The best place was China Sun, hands down. They greasy though. You can't go wrong with China Sun, bro. They greasy. Especially if you out here. I feel like China Sun is good. What's the best place out here is China Sun. China Sun is, I've reviewed it I think twice. So yeah, <laughs> it's great. Out here, just in this area. I'm trying to think of in this area. If you want something good to eat, China Sun. It's, China it's reliable. You know you're gonna be full and it's not gonna be, China Sun gonna be or, super sick. It depends what you want. I like Three Amigos. Three Amigos is really good. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, for a Mexican place. Mexican food. Yeah, well, you can't, but trust me, I have. Before. Three Amigos in a place you told me near the um, Plaza? Mm -hmm. No, Plaza Ass. I had some bad experience. Plaza was fire when I was good. But when I went there, I've had. No, I, Plaza's food is good, but their service is like, terrible. I had a manager try to take my food outside the store. Like, I, I didn't pay for it, and I already paid for it online. That was ridiculous. And I've been in the store before, and somebody served. My ex, some shit that had fish on it, and it was supposed to not have fish on it, and they didn't realize like right before, right before they they went out there, mm -hmm. and they just took the fish off of it, so it still tasted like fish. Exactly. And then they, what they did was is they tweaked. They they told they took it back for a minute and brought the same plate back out again. Same thing. Yeah, and I was like, like bro. you ain't know. Like bro, they just took the fish off of it. That's why I was like, bro. Shit, yeah, it depends. What's the what? What do you think the like the best pizza place is? All right, no hands down. I don't eat pizza like that, but I would say like for a fast food pizza place, like I'm going to put some easy shit in the ground a lot of places. I like that. There's real life. Facts. I was sitting on that. Domino, I had Domino called a hundred times. It's just fire. Like even if you eat it, you don't feel super bloated. Like mm -hmm. it's just like, it's simple. Pizza Hut is trash now. I agree. Pizza Hut should be fire back in the day when you was a kid. You go in there and eat and shit. Same thing with like Chuck E. Cheese. I know that sounds Chuck crazy. Chuck E. was fire back in the day. Bro, back in the day, it was in, you go in there and now you get sick if you eat that pizza. What's the worst piece of it? Chinellos. Chinellos around here, I got pear in my I got hair, I got a cookie pizza, and I got hair in everybody. The worst pizza place is pizza. Chinellos, I had to tell them, Chinellos was like last month. But they have fire. hair in their pizza, bro, over here. I know it sounds crazy, but I got hair. Yeah. I got hair in my pizza like three times. I had it like last month, so I was like, I ain't know, I thought it was. Haha, <laughs> you didn't realize, but you eat a little, you eat <laughs> Yeah, you fucked up. You eating gray hair, you didn't even know. It's disgusting, I know. I, I, I found out too late. I like Paul, I like Chinelos too, and that's that's like that's the only reason I say you it's disgusting. You put me on to them, did you know They're good, bro, but they're good in Norfolk. Cows is really good too in Norfolk. You've never had cows, probably. But cows is super greasy, but it's so good. That's what, I used to eat that shit when I was high all the time. This is six minute right now. We're just going on talking about food. This is going to be called foodie. What do you vlog? The best place in Virginia to eat. Bro, I need to take you to Bobo's. You never even tried it. The chicken is expensive. My god, that shit is good. It's just like chicken tenders and chicken. Like just, just like Pollard's is, but it's just better. They got their own homemade sauce, like hot sauce. Oh my god. Yeah, sir. How y'all doing today, vlog? I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Staying positive, keep doing your best. We're all amazing, bless. Remember that. Where you can do anything you put your mind to. You're a beautiful soul. Love you, and I'm proud of you. No one told you today.
Keep doing your best. The sun came out. Sun came out. I don't know what I want to do for this video though. I'm gonna catch y'all back for the vlog a little later. Thank you for stopping by and chilling with us. We we're just talking about some food. But my best place in Virginia to eat, if I had to give y'all one recommendation, would either be China Sun or Three Amigos. Corey's favorite place to eat in Virginia is China Sun and Domino's. Better. China Sun and Domino's. So if you never had either of those, if you're in, if you're in Virginia, especially Chesapeake or Norfolk, um, check out. If you're in Norfolk, I guess I gotta give you another option because there ain't that much over there. But if you like Norfolk, um, I'm trying to think what's good in Norfolk. Bobo's, check out Bobo's chicken in Norfolk, yeah. And you, you'll thank me later. It's better than Kane's, I promise. Peace. Yo, what is going on? We are back in this bitch. It's the day after Thanksgiving. We're just chilling, motherfucking today. It's a beautiful day outside of once again. Every motherfucking day is. Hope everyone's doing well, man. Just stay positive. Doing your best. I'm gonna open up these windows as I usually do. But I just want to give y'all an update from yesterday. I was chilling with Corey, and we uh, went over to my grandma's and we ate some chicken. I don't think I really specified what the fuck I was actually doing yesterday, but that's basically what the vibe was. So that was a chill ass day, and now I'm just vibing out. About to edit a video and about to shoot another video. So that's basically the vibe. I've been trying to keep up with my videos and shit. I've been having like a lot of like, I don't know what the word is. I've been having like a lot of shit that's like, not really holding me back, but I feel like I'm having a lot of problems like expressing my true self sometimes. So I've been trying to work on that. Oh my gosh, I've been trying to work on that. And it's not easy, but I just want you to remember that no matter where you are in your journey, you know, like, of yourself, of finding yourself, of being who you are, of loving yourself. Just know everything's working out for the best of interest. And um, no matter what, you're beautiful just the way you are. You don't need anything to be amazing and blessed. And um, once you realize there is no right or wrong, there's no judgment, like, it's all just neutral, it's all just you, whatever you think is right. And obviously there's good choices and bad choices, but whatever you feel in the moment is right for you is the only thing you know and the only thing you can do because the only way to succeed is to fail. So even if you think right now you're at the failure point, remember that you're at a point where you needed to be at the right time in the right place and the right vibe because you had to go through that to get to the place where you want to be. To live your dreams. And remember, you already are living your dreams. You're in the highest line of reality. And nothing can stop you. I don't care what anyone thinks about you. I don't care that like, you can wear whatever you want. You can be whoever you want to be. You can date whoever you want. It doesn't matter. Like, you feel me? It's just about how you, how much you value yourself. And you're going to find that, like, you attract more abundance in the things you want in your life, the people you want in your life, when you take the initiative and then just be yourself to the completely and fullest. You know, because if you never take chances, you'll never know, bro. You'll never know, like, how it'll, it'll work out. Like, you can recreate and overanalyze shit in your head, but you'll never know if that's actually how it's working for you. You feel me? So, like, just be yourself to the motherfucking fullest. Don't ever give up. And just stay positive that everything you want in your life is working out. I gotta go do these tires today. I gotta go change my car tires. So that's what I'm working on today. So that shouldn't be too annoying. Also, okay, so let me let me explain the saga with that. So I got these car tires I got to do, and I was gonna do them Saturday, and I did them Saturday. I went to the place and it was closed. So, and, and the website I thought they said they was open on Saturday, but apparently they changed their shit and now they're not. So that was kind of annoying, but it's all good. So I'm working on that today. Um, yeah, should be cool. I'll bring you guys along for the ride. I know it's probably not the most entertaining shit, but we're gonna do it anyway. And it should be fun. So remember to click the like button. Um, yeah. Let me know also what your favorite pizza place is in the comments below. And let me know what the worst pizza place you've ever had is. Or food place. Because if you don't eat pizza, then you don't eat pizza. But yeah, let me know about that. Because I wanted to get everybody's opinion on that topic yesterday. I thought that was a very funny topic we were talking about. So yeah. Keep vibing. Stay strong. Peace out. I'm gonna catch you in the next video. Actually, it's probably not the end of the video. I'm probably gonna have like a lot more to do. 
I want to do something. I'm probably going to go maybe a thrift store or something for the vlog because I haven't been to a thrift store in Franklin forever. We're trying to find some like music equipment, man. That's what we're looking for. But yeah, I'll catch y'all. I always end up buying clothes every time I go to the store. Like, I swear. And then I don't even math 90% of the time anyway. So yeah. But we'll, we'll, have, we'll go ahead and um, go ahead and do that. Because the place is far anyway, so we might as well go do something, right? Yeah, yeah. Also, I do want to say, whenever you're getting like car maintenance done, it's always good to triple check your sources. Like, go from one place to another, even though it's kind of annoying. For the only, the only reason I'm not doing it for my tires is because I've actually been to this place quite a few times. And I've used them quite a few times. And now it's not nice. It's not good to just be comfortable with one place. And last time I did have an error where they, one of my tires was fucked up the day after they, I needed it. And then I had to go back. But, let me tell you, that tire, they gave it to me for free. They got me right. And then the next tire they gave it to me for free. And shout out Sider Tire uh, also on Bainbridge if you live in Norfolk or Chesapeake technically. But so they have good service policy, even though it's only a two day warranty. I mean, who knows? So I've had I've heard people have issues in the past, but um, shit happens when you're buying used tires. So if you like one of used tire places, is a good tire place if you're in Norfolk or if you're in the 757 area, that's a really good place. I've been there at least two times, and the first time I had no problems, and then the second time I did have that problem. I replaced my tire, and it's lasted me until eight months later. So, I mean, I feel like that's not too bad. And it was fifty dollars for like one tire, and it might have gone up because we're gonna go see. So, I had to go get all four of my five of my tires replaced because I have my spare. And because that, because okay, so I used to. I should have always gotten my, this is bad lighting. I should have always gotten my spare before, but I didn't before until now because now I live on my own, so I have to have my spare. So if like anything happens, I have to literally have my spare to get anywhere, unless I want to get a toad or some shit. And I'm not dealing with all that. So that's why I'm gonna get my spare fixed too. So just in case I do have a bad tire, which I doubt I will, because they got me. But yeah, we're gonna see how this works out. I'm gonna catch you on the flip side. And yeah, we're gonna go for a drive. I'm gonna try to set you up nice this time so you actually don't fucking fall over. That's so annoying. But yeah. I'll catch you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video so far. Leave a like if you did. Check the comments if you want to go follow my Twitch, my Discord, and know when I'm online playing some games. Or you can subscribe to see more videos like this. This is vlog number 32. It's very lit. And I just love making videos, man. And always embrace who you are, man. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of who you are. You're a beautiful fucking person. It doesn't matter what anyone thinks about you. I think you're beautiful, and you should be proud of yourself. I'm proud of you, and I love myself. I'm proud of you, and I love myself. Say, say it with me. I'm proud of myself, and I love myself. 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 Say that shit five times in the mirror, because you motherfucking deserve it. So I'm proud of you. I love you. Peace out. <laughs> Bye. So I'm gonna cut it, I'll see you later.